Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is episode 18 of To Dare Is To Do. And before we get any further, yes, there is no face cam. Uh, we are on the new machine. Uh, say hello, Cylon. Cylon says hello. And, um... The problem is I haven't yet got a webcam for the new computer. Um... So and I'm I'm fooling around with other com other cameras and and such, but it hasn't really worked out yet. So it'll happen soon, but uh, not instantly. And I thought I'd get back to recording without it. Um, so today we're going to at least attempt to. Um, uh, we would be if I could get my computer to work. Oh dear! All right, that's all right. I can do it this way. Um, we'll go over here. There we go. All right. First, we'll have a look at the schedule and see how things have gone since your last we're here. Uh, when last we're here, we lost 0-2 in the Community Shield to our bogey team, Liverpool. Since then, we beat uh, Brighton with a couple of goals from Mora and one from Ali. Uh, then we took, in, took on Burnley, brought on Ka Harry Kane as a sub, and he got a third goal. Um, just to really put it away after we'd managed to get uh, Fernandez his first goal and then Dele Alli uh, a good one. Man United, Harry Kane with a brace, Harry Winks with one uh, quite late on. That one, Cancelo was sent off but we'd actually tied the game before he was sent off. It was um, the late goal that managed to get us the win so we were pretty pleased with that. Chelsea 1-0 they had an own goal. Um, it was a, one of those bing-bong, bouncy ball type of goals. It was taking a shot one way, and then it hit somebody, it went another way, and then it hit somebody else, it went another way, and then it was in the net. It was not pretty, but it was effective, and we won the game. Most recently, we played Liverpool, and as you can see, won all. They scored first through Christian Pulisic, whom they bought this summer, and we equalized through Harry Kane in the 70th minute or 69th, whatever. Um, it was a pretty good game, but uh, they definitely outplayed us. I don't know what it is about them. They're kind of a bogey team for us. So the draw for the Champions League has given us, let's just look at the group as, as a whole, has given us AS Monaco, uh, FC RB Salzburg, uh, otherwise known as the Red Bulls, and Fenerbahce. Now, Fenerbahce came in as the fourth seed, which seemed a little heavy-duty to me because um, cause I would have thought they'd been ahead of Salzburg, but they were not. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's going to be, I think, a reasonable group for us to get out of. Uh, I don't think we're going to have any real trouble with it, but, you know, it's it's always tricky to get to beat a Turkish team, especially when at home, and uh, Monaco are always capable of producing surprises. So we'll have to see how that goes. Today's match, though, we have um, as we sit second in the Premier Division, just behind Liverpool on goal difference. So we're in good shape there. Um, I want to just quickly. I think Harry Kane is tied for top lead, top of the scoring chart with Roberto Firmino. So both on four goals. That's not surprising that they're really the leading scorers. Um, so let's get back to Tottenham. Where are you in my squad? We are actually going to rotate the squad a little bit today just because um, Red Bull are, let's be honest, not one of the stronger teams in the group. So uh, Jack Butland gets his first start of the season with Serge Aurier, Talby Alderweireld, Eric Dyer, and Kyle Walker-Peters as completing the back line. Harry Winks and Christopher Iyer in midfield. Lamella on the right, Ali in the middle, Gnabry on the left, and Kasper Delberg up front with the usual cast of wonderfuls on the bench. Lloris, Davis, Dembele, Eriksen Sanchez, Hack Kane, and Son Heung min um, and I will apologize briefly to Tofinlandius, who is, unfortunately for him, an Everton fan, and Spurs did kind of a number on them yesterday. Um, 
bad luck for uh, for Everton. They they started well, but um, Spurs came alive in the second half and just ripped them apart. Unfortunately, so my sympathies, Dovinlandius. That's that's always hard to have happen, um, especially at home. That's that's pretty tough. So my apologies, my sympathies. Um. Anyway, let's get in with the game. Uh, we're probably just going to do the one game today while I, you know, check out how well the the recording is working and everything else. So let's get into the game and see how we get on. All right, let's go to Salzburg. Okay, go to the dressing room. Um, I don't think we're going to say nothing. Um, I think we'll go play a natural game. No? We're favorites. Nothing. Oh, well. Like I said, I think we've got a good enough team to go out there and and take this one. Okay, we're underway, and as you can see, compared to the laptop, we've got, well, A, a little more screen real estate, so we can actually see things like the the body language and so on on the, on the non-playing screen, but also the, um, wow, that was nice, also nice, what a game, what a goal! Dolberg to Gnabry. Gnabry's first goal of the season. His first goal by as a Spurs player. So that was a hell of a start. Um, and it, as you can see, the graphics are just a tiny bit better. And I'm hoping that there is no stuttering and, and choppiness that we've had problems with in the past. interesting. Somebody got tumbled. And, you know, not in the good way. Higher. A wide for Walker Peters. Not a very good cross. Back to Iyer. Tries again with Walker Peters. This time his cross gets in, but is headed away. White winks. Dele. Oh, just wide. Nice try. Oh, and it's in. Gnabry with his second goal of the season. My goodness. Oh, goalkeeper just sort of flapped at it. Not the best goalkeeping I've ever seen. I'll have to I'll have to be honest. Oh, disinterested after the feedback. What did you say to them? Dude. <laughs> All right. I think we'll go with that. I had a feeling he was going to feel... There. We got him around. Oh, hammered against the bar. Oh my goodness, the easiest goal Dolberg will ever score. 
his first of the season. That's nice to see. Like getting him off the mark. And it'll do his confidence good to have a Champions League goal. A little worried about the yellow cards piling up. Oh, and we've got a sub. Let's have Ben Davis come in for Walk Peters. Don't take any chances with injuries if we don't have to. Uh, Lamella. I guess Son Hyung Min could come in for him. Would he rather play inside forward or something? Yes, he would. So, that's fine too. We can have inside forward attack. How about that? And, um, hmm, at least get one of these yellow cards off the field. We'll go with Sanchez for Dyer, just to get that yellow card off the field. Winks back to Aurier, back to Winks. Not a very good header. And Stankovic gathers easily. Dele. Nice through ball for Gnabry. Oh, back on to off the par off the post. Oh, that's too harsh. That's too bad. Anyway, a good game from Gnabry, and uh, we'll take it. Well done, lads. A good win for us. I'll take a 3 nothing win any day of the week, especially with a rotated team. One to three days for Walker Peters. Butland did well. We got some money. Gnabry did well. Let's tell him I think he did well. Good man. Good stuff. Alright, that's going to do it for this episode. I just wanted to get us through at least one episode and, and you know, see how the thing went and, and see what you think about the new computer and the new graphics. Um, I think they're much better and I'm hoping you'll enjoy them better. And uh, soon we'll be able to add a face cam back to that and then... Um, We'll be right back to normal. Uh, I should have another video out tomorrow uh, on the um, Warsaw Backpacked. So uh, look forward to that. Again, it probably won't have face cam. It's going to be maybe a week or so before I can get myself sorted out and get a, get a new face cam, uh, webcam. So it depends on, on how money looks after Christmas is over and, and so on. So anyway... Let's do this. Um, well, actually, let's take a second and go just take a moment and look at when will we come back. I think we've had enough of Liverpool for a little while, so we'll leave the Carabao th Cup third round out. But let's come back for the AS Monaco match and maybe Watford afterward. I actually grew up in Watford, so I have a bit of a soft spot for them. Um, so, yeah, let's let's come back for AS Monaco and Watford. And um, then we'll come back maybe after that for Fenerbahce and Man City. A nice pairing of, of good games there. So, all right. There you go. The aim will be to get two games in usually, but this time we've managed to pull up 14 minutes just getting through the one game. So let's leave it at that and we'll, um, and we'll call it a day. So, I hope you don't mind dropping a like, hitting subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you have a great day, and take care.